Hi guys and welcome to another build video. So for this video, I'm going to share to you Iceborne builds for all the uh, weapons that can help you complete the frost, the heroic frost escalation. So to start off with the build, we're going to use Torgador's Chain Blades with Cunning and Berserker Cell, especially Reaper's Dance, Modest Rated Blades, and Helion Chain Blades for the bond. We're also going to use Scan Lantern with Catalyst Cell, Agar's Helm with Top Cell, Rezakir's Virtue with Catalyst Cell, Boreal Might with Overpower Cell, and Nasher Treads with Tenacious Cell. Next is the Sword going to use Torgadora's Sword with Berserker and Cunning Cell, Specialist Avenging Overdrive, Modest Recursive Hilt, and Helion Sword for the bond. Skarn's Lantern with Catalyst Cell, Agarus Helm with Tough Cell, Rezakir's Armor with Catalyst Cell, Boreal Might with Overpower Cell, and Nasher Treads with Tenacious Cell. Next is the axe. I'm going to use Torgadora's axe with Cunnings and Assassin's Frenzy Cell, Specialist Grim Onslaught, Modest Overcharged Cylinder, and Helion's axe for the bond. Again, Skarn Lantern with Catalyst Cell, Agar's Helm with Tough Cell, Rezakir's Armor with Catalyst Cell. Borges Might with Overpower Cell and Nasher Treads with Tenacious Cell. Next is the Hammer. We're going to use Torgadora's Hammer with Cunning and Berserker Cell, Specialist Mighty Land Breaker, Modest Extended Clip, and Helion's Hammer for the Bond. Scarn Lantern with Catalyst Cell, Agarus Helm with Tough Cell. Rezakir's Armor with Catalyst Cell, Boreal Might with Overpower Cell, and Nasher Threads with Tenacious Cell. Next is the Warpike. Going to use Torgador's Warpike with Cunning and Berserker Cell, Specialist Concussive Payload or Savage Wellspring, a Mod is Munitions Amplifier, and Helion's Warpike for the Bond. Scarn Lantern with Catalyst Cell, Agarus Helm with Tough Cell, Rezakiri's Armor with Catalyst Cell, Boreal Might with Overpower Cell, and Nasher Treads with Tenacious Cell. Next is for the Repeaters. Going to use Ocean Repeaters with Assassin Frenzy Cell and Fleet Footed Cell. Barrel is the Torgador Barrel. Chamber is Marksman Chamber, Grip is Captain's Grip, Mod is Precision Sights, and Prism is the Searing Prism. Scarn Lantern with Catalyst Cell, Nasher Cup with Tough Cell, Agarus Armor with Catalyst Cell, Torgadoras Brawn with Overpower Cell, and Nasher Treads with Tenacious Cell. Next is uh, the Strikers. We're going to use uh, Torgador Strikers with Cunning and Berserker Cell, Specialist Titan Scratch, Modest Cyclonic Strike Fleet, and Helion Strikers for the bond. Scarn Lantern with Catalyst Cell, Argus Helm with Tough Cell, Rezakir's Armor with Catalyst Cell, Boreal Might with Overpower Cell, and Nasher Treads with Tenacious Cell. So this build uh, will give you an overall perk summary of plus 6 Catalyst, plus 6 Cunning, plus 6 Tenacious, plus 6 Tough, plus 6 Overpower, plus 3 Assassins, Frenzy or Berserker, and plus 3 Parasitic for all the weapons. And for the 
um, repeaters overall perk summary will be plus 6 catalyst plus 6 overpower plus 6 tenacious plus 6 tough plus 3 assassins frenzy plus 3 fleet footed and plus 3 parasitic all right so another build that you can use with uh, the molten edict that you can use for the frost escalation so we're going to use a uh, molten edict uh, the with overpower and catalyst cell special is molten edict and modest extended clip lantern is strike zeal or scan lantern with catalyst cell gyrog helm with parasitic cell trax armor with cunning cell agarus um, gloves with tough cell and Nasher Treads with Overpower Cell. So this build will give you an overall perk summary of plus 6 Catalyst, plus 6 Scanning, plus 6 Overpower, plus 6 Sturdy, plus 6 Tough, plus 3 Berserker, and plus 3 Parasitic. Alright, that's it for the builds. Now, let's take a look at the Frost Escalation Talent 3. So at the first column, you should get Zeiss Maneuvers uh, for the passive movement speed. If you're using Warpike, uh, I suggest you get this of uh, First Slayer's Precision for that passive part damage converted to wound damage. Also important, the fur line gear upgrades. So what uh, the Fur Line Gear upgrade does is Frostbite Rise is 10% slower, stocks with all other Fur Line Gear talents. So all in all, we have 3 Fur Line Gear upgrades that will be a 30% uh, reduction on the Frostbite, the speed of the Frostbite uh, buildup. Next column, Fur Line Gear. And we're going to use uh, Borman's Might. For that passive stagger. Hot and cold, not advisable to get. Next column will get more rest reinforcement for that passive damage reduction. And battled warm for that uh, bracers continue to prevent frostbite buildup for 8 seconds after leaving their rages. Upgrade the battled warm and upgrade the fur line gear 3. Next column, um, we're going to get this passive upgrade, Heated Blade. Absorbing the flame from a brazier grants a stack of Heated Blade. So each Heated Blade deals 50% increased damage. Warm Blooded also going to get this the first time you would become frostbitten each run immediately reduce your frostbite build up by 50% next is cut loss for that passive attack damage next I do not uh, suggest getting this on heroic escalation but this is useful on normal escalations like 1 to 13 and 10 to 50 uh, frost escalation also, we're going to get Lucky Strikes for that passive critical strike chance. And Cold Rush, we're going to get Cold Rush. So, when a Behemoth dies, gain 25% increased move speed, 15% increased attack speed, and 10% increased damage for 2 minutes. Uh, usable when on round 2 and round 4 when fighting dual Behemoths, especially on Heroic. Uh, escalation where fights are longer. Next, we're going to get um, Aspect of the Warrior for your critical strikes to deal 10% more damage. And if you are the Avatar of Destruction, this is increased to 20%. We're also going to get Aspect of the Defender. When a Behemoth becomes staggered, gain 2% increased attack speed for the remainder of the escalation. 
this uh, the bonus increases to 4% if you are the avatar of control. Aspect of the scout, we're also going to get this if um, you are a, a wirepipe uh, user. So when a behemoth part is wounded, gain 2% increased damage for the remainder of the escalation. This increases to 4% if you are the avatar of salty. So if you have, if you are playing solo and using warpike, get this. And if you have a teammate using warpike, get this also. Right. The aspect of the mender is I think it's not advisable uh, to get. So we'll just go in to get the aspect of the scout. All right, and make sure for um, going into the heroic frost escalation, your frost escalation uh, level should be at level 25 or at least level 20 to get the power boost 3. All right, that's it for the builds and the talent tree guide. Thank you for watching and have a good day.